We welcome to Larry King Live, Bob Randall, the first American ever to gain legal access to marijuana because of his glaucoma condition. Why are you allowed to use these, Robert? I have a disease called glaucoma, and marijuana at this point is the only drug that will help prolong my sight. You can smoke it now legally, couldn't you? Sure. Do it for me. Okay. Yes. This is a first. I want yeah, you to is. know, Larry. <laughs> I spent 27 years with Bob Randall, and 25 of those years he was using 10 marijuana cigarettes a day, federally supplied. And I can assure you he was not a stoner. Um, he had a terrific memory. He was extremely articulate. He was highly motivated when it came to, particularly to this issue. I think the only thing surprising here is that a small group of unelected bureaucrats have so long resisted making marijuana medically available. Essentially, it comes down to almost a theologic argument. They want to pretend that marijuana is simply evil, and I think we have to be more rational than that. We have to realize that marijuana has good and bad uses. In people. Bob was treated on every conventional medication that was available, and it was only through the addition of marijuana that his eye pressure was lowered to within the safe range. Told at 25 that he would be blind by the time he was 30, marijuana made the critical difference, and Bob could see up until the time of his death in 2001. We were arrested in August of 1975 for growing four marijuana plants on our sun deck in Washington, D.C. And once Robert found out that the federal government was already conducting research on marijuana as a possible glaucoma treatment, that made him very angry. He could not reconcile in his mind that we were being called criminals for what the federal government was already well aware of. So we went to trial in July of 1976 and the lawyers pleaded that Robert needed medical access to marijuana based on his medical need. Uh, the trial was held before Judge James Washington in Washington, D.C., and he found Robert not guilty of marijuana possession by reason of medical necessity. It established within the legal framework the concept of medical necessity. And by 1991, we had 13 individuals who were receiving uh, marijuana legally for the purposes of, of medical application. It elicits too many emotions in people. And probably if it, if it were called something else, it would be a, it would be a much better world. I, I used to say that if, if a scientist went into a, a, an Amazon rainforest and came out with this new plant that had never been discovered before, uh, that he, he called cannabis and gave it to other scientists and researched it, it would be hailed as, as a, a savior because it has so many wondrous, uh, wondrous properties. And it would be nice if it didn't have all of the bad baggage that marijuana has if it were just simply cannabis. Uh, that would be a, a better world, I think.